didn't get a chance to play in this game last year because of COVID and everything. So what does it mean in your final go that you get the chance to play the Gamecocks one last time? That's pretty cool. You know, it's uh, this is a big game for this state and uh, for us. And it'll be charged up. We get to go to their place, a night game. You know, it's going to be a great environment. And uh, I'm excited, you know, we get to get to do it this year. You know, last week we were talking about the home streak, right? And saying how you lost, you actually lost the game. Yeah. Well, you haven't lost to the Gamecocks yeah. at all. So what would it mean to close out your career at Clemson having never lost to your life? It'd be awesome. You know, like I said, this game, this game means a, a lot to a lot of people. Especially in the state, so uh, just try to go out on the on the, on the right foot and, uh, and get a W. Yeah, so I'll, I uh, I guess I'm from Georgia, so I, I wasn't really a fan of anyone in particular. I got recruited by them pretty heavy, you know. Like I, I, I would be lying to you if I. Said I wasn't considering it when I was getting recruited, but now you know being here, and I've learned over the years that uh, it's, it's a big deal, and you know not a big fan of them either now. Uh, but uh, it means a lot to a lot of people. You know this game. You know, Coach Sweeney talks about it all the time. You can go, you know, ten and one and, uh, and have a great year, but if you lose to these guys, I mean, you're going to hear about it from from our fans and, and from theirs and from people in the state. Uh, record doesn't matter. What you've seen on film doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a season of its own. It's a game of its own. Uh, I mean, it's it's a it's a battle. Man, they're gonna bring their best. We're gonna bring ours, and you know, it's a it's a special game and a, and a good rivalry. Was there a certain teammate or something when you were a freshman that kind of really kind of talked about what this meant to him and why he wanted? I mean, I think everyone in this building understands that. You know, I can remember, uh, I remember Bowler always being charged up about it. You know, he's from here and uh, he loves Clemson, and uh, so I remember kind of, you know, listening to him and hearing, hearing, uh, you know, his perspective on it. But I mean, everyone in this building, you know, understands the importance of the game and uh, how much energy you have to put into it and bring to it. Ben really, really did just like the game. Yeah, Ben's uh, Ben wears his, you know, emotions on his sleeve, so. And you all know that. Uh, but, yeah, of course you did. What have you seen from Carolina's offense just catching up with them that makes them better than they were at the beginning of the season? It seems right now they have an identity that maybe they didn't have. Yeah, they've just gotten better and better and better. Uh, they got some great running backs, and they're physical. they got a good run game. Uh, obviously, they've had a unique quarterback situation. But I think, uh, like I said, they've just gotten better, and I think they – they uh, they help themselves a lot, like any good offense, any good coach will do, do it with his players, and uh, you know they've bonded the scheme. They got they got talent everywhere. They got everything they need to to uh, to beat us. You know, just like anybody you play. So it's up to us to you know execute the game plan and uh, and and match that energy that's going to take. I mean, they were in it. <laughs> they were in it. But uh, I knew, the second I came here, you know, and came to a camp here and visited here, I knew this was the place to be. They don't get it twisted. I was, I got recruited, but this is this is home right here, you know. So. So he was just leaving. Yeah, he was he was out the door. There was a lot of dysfunction over there at that time, so I made the decision pretty easy. And you know, like I said, when you come here and. You get to meet Coach Sweeney and, and Coach V, and you get to feel what Clemson's all about. The decision's pretty easy after that. So, the road this year has been a problem for you guys at times in terms of playing consistent football as an entire team, whether it's just not defensively, but as an entire team, you have to put it together. What do you think it will take for this group on the road in rivalry territory to play your best game that you have away from Clemson? I think kind of keep the momentum we have going. So I think last week we played our best. We we played our most complete game against Wake Forest, but for probably for the first time this year. Like you know, we didn't play perfect on defense, they didn't play perfect on offense, but as a whole, we played our best game. So I think just carrying over that momentum, uh, we know we can do it. Like we've just seen it happen, right? And uh, just believe in that. And uh, I mean, 
wherever you are, whatever server stadium you're in, like I, I say it all the time, it, the field's still 100 yards, and uh, you know you, you still got the rules are still the same. You know, so uh, just not getting too caught up in, in where you're playing and the environment, and just understanding it's just a game of football, and you got to go execute. Would you like playing in say a charged atmosphere like the one you're going to be in? It's going to be completely lit and rocking. Oh yeah! If you're gonna be great, you gotta you gotta love hostility. You gotta love it. Uh, and um, no, I, I love playing at other places and you know where the fans are at. Like it's going to NC State. I love playing over there because they got a great atmosphere and the fans are right at your back. We're going to Louisville. You know you can hear them chirping the whole time. And so I, I love I love going on the road. I think it's a lot of fun. Where does Williams Weiss rank? Oh, it's up there. It's up there. I mean, I play it, throwing whatever they can at you. And, uh, I mean, they got the, the the Sandman, you know, going and the towel swinging. So, I mean, it's a great it's a great place to go play. I mean, they, they do a great job over there, you know, creating a great environment. So, uh, anyone who goes to plays it's, it's fortunate to and play college football he knows it's a it's a great atmosphere. You played in national championship games, college football playoff games. How do you rank this game? Importance compared to standpoint, you know, obviously those are bigger games and what they mean, but as far as the atmosphere and everything else with it. Um, when it's a rivalry game, I think the atmosphere is always, I mean, either if we're playing here or there, like the atmosphere is always great, you know, there's more emotion. Uh, I mean, you don't get me wrong, the atmosphere in the national championship is amazing too, you know, it's amazing. Uh, or I remember, you know, being in, uh, in uh, Arizona, against Ohio State, that like 16-0 comeback game, you know, we're down. Like that atmosphere was great, but uh, the hostility aspect—that's what—that's what makes it different. But I don't even group like this game with a national champ. Like it's a—it's like in its own category. This game, this this week, it's like its own thing. It's like there's a season, then there's South Carolina. So that's kind of how you know we look at it here. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean, we play good, and then uh, I think you know there's a, a drive or two where uh, they made some plays and we didn't play our best. Uh, I mean, well, we had like eight sacks and a lot of TFL, so there's a lot of great things. But uh, I mean, we've ne we haven't played a perfect game yet, and, and you won't play a perfect game. Uh, but you know, good things to build on and, and and good things to learn from. So I mean, it was just it was it was like any normal. Sunday, Monday, you know, just uh, you don't don't think too much about the good and really, you know, highlight what you got to get better on. Oh man, he is. Uh, it's two weeks back to back. He's been uh, defensive player of the game for us. Uh, he's just trusted the process. You know, you, we all get yelled at by V every week, and uh, he's just embracing that. Uh, he made he. Everyone sees what he's good at. I mean, he can get after the quarterback. He can really blitz and rush the passer. And uh, he's learning more and more and more every day, every single day. He's just getting better and better. It's been really cool to see a guy like that just continue to make strides, make strides, make strides. And then, you know, like the past couple of weeks, play like he's played. Uh, you know, he's arguably been one of our best players on defense this past month. So uh, really proud of him and uh, excited to see how he keeps progressing. And I know he's going he's gonna to do great. Are there any questions on Zoom for James? I know you've been dealing with this a lot of folks and group this all year. Just how are you feeling right now? I feel I feel good, man. I feel good. You know, in, uh, in football, 80% is 100%. You learn that you know, quickly. You know, we've had uh, probably have had the most reps I've ever had in a season this year. But hey, I'm loving every second of it. You know, but uh, you know, I've, that's just part of the game. Playing. So I know when it comes to Saturday, I'm ready to go, and that's all that matters. So, James Dabo was talking this morning about how special it is to be part of a rivalry that means so much to so many people. Is that something you guys keep in mind this week? That there are people all over the state living and dying by this game? Oh, yeah. Like I said, like I was just saying, there's a season and there's South Carolina. So we know how much it means. Uh, it's just, it's a very, very important game for a lot of people, and uh, we take pride in that. I remember when I was a uh, yeah, it'd be freshman year. We beat them 56-7 here at home. That was a, like I remember that was my first one, and the stadium was rocking. I remember Mike Williams going crazy in that game. Uh, 
that was a good one. Yeah, I remember Ben just watching uh, him and Kendall prepare that week and then just dominate. You can see Ben on the field that game, like calling out plays before they even happen. I vividly remember that. I remember uh, in seven, I think it was 17 or 18, uh, going there. That's where that Renfro had that crazy long like screen, you know, spin a couple of times. That was a night game in South Carolina and, and Williams Bryce, and that was that was crazy. That's when they were throwing batteries and stuff at us. We ended up playing well. Yeah, Kelly B was playing quarterback for us then, and uh, and then the last one was the was a noon game. So we kind of. Uh, Coach Sweeney jokes about it. We got the the mild version of of the the atmosphere, kind of, you know, because it's just noon games are just different. Especially, you, know, you you want the night games, you want the night games. But the most memorable one for me is definitely my freshman year, where they came here and, and we and we took it to them. I just remember like a lot of things from that game, just watching, being on the sideline and young, and being like, dang, I'm I'm gonna play in this one one day. It's gonna be fun. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I'm happy the game's at 7:30. I'm happy. So, uh, man, we want as hostile we can get. We want it that way. I mean, that's that's the most enjoyable. That's what it's all about. That's what college football is about. You know, you don't want uh, you don't want half the people there and it quiet. I mean, you want as much energy as possible. You feed off that as a player. You know, you want that. I just know that we we control the things we can control. So I think our focus just needs to be on South Carolina, and that's it. You know, if hey, if it happens for us, thank you, right? But uh, if it doesn't, it doesn't, man. We we've done everything we can now, and uh, you know, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. But we're just focused on South Carolina. If that works out, great. But this is you know, we we got we got to beat South Carolina. That's the goal this week. I'm never on my phone, really, on, on Saturdays, yeah. yeah. It's 2-2 two two after September. What does it say about this team that, you know, the main goal of making the playoff may be out of the way. You guys continue to get better. You stay together. And here you are with a chance to win 10 games for more than the second season. Yeah, I think uh, if you look around the country and you look at a lot of teams that were in similar spots that we were in and where they are now, uh, I think it says a lot about this team. And you think about the injuries we've had, and some of the people that have left, you know, we have every reason to to splinter and to almost, you know, fall apart. But we've stayed together and we've kept fighting. And when it was ugly, we found ways to win. And I just think we've seen a lot of guys get better and better, keep trusting the process. And uh, I think we're playing our best football right now. I do. I think overall we're playing our best football right now. And that's, I mean, that's awesome considering, you know, some of our feelings, you know, two months ago, you know, not knowing. Where, what direction the season's going to take. But we just, a lot of guys just stay in the course, staying after it. And, uh, like, you know, no one would choose for the season to go this way, but I'm, I'm not, you know, I wouldn't change a thing. Uh, I think moving forward with the program, a lot of these young guys this year are going to, you know, are going to learn a lot, you know, from, from what's happened this year. And uh, so when, when, you know, things don't go your way, you just got to keep pushing, keep pushing. And, you know. Now we're at eight and three, and on the on the rise, I think. Last regular season game of your career, last South Carolina game of your career. I'm not sure what I'm about to ask you, but what do you think your dad would tell you? Mm. What would you like to tell your dad? Um, I think you'd just say enjoy it. Sorry. That's a good question. Yeah, he'd say, uh, he'd say, enjoy it, because it happens like that, and uh, I just want to tell him thank you. Just thank you. Appreciate y'all.